Welcome to today's demonstration of Silec dashboards for System Center Operations Manager. System Center Operation Manager provides a critical monitoring services in many IT organizations. So health of Operations Manager is very critical to deliver quality services. So in these dashboards, we are focusing on tracking the alerts raised by System Center Operations Manager and visualizing the health of the system. So we will start with the first page. This page demonstrates the summary of alerts generated by different servers or agents in the System Center Operations Manager environment. And these alerts are further grouped into divisions, services, and severity. Apart from this, it also provides us the high-level information to help us understand the number of servers, services, and divisions monitored under organization SCOM environment. It also dig deep into source of alerts, whether how many number of alerts are rule-based and how many are monitor-based. You can see this information of alerts for the last 30 days and can also configure your report by adjusting the dates from the date range slicer. Along with, you can also make selection for uh, for division, service, server, severity, etc. by clicking at the menu bar. And you can, if you want, you can go back. And next is, uh, next page is alerts per management pack. So it is about the number of alerts produced by management packs installed in System Center Operations Manager. Here we can see alerts generated by management packs. So by clicking on the alert name, it will provide us the name of corresponding management packs and give us more details like severity and environment of those alerts. Moreover, we can see the alerts raised over a period of selected date range by selecting from the slicer along with you can also configure configure the uh, visuals by making selection in by clicking on the menu bar and make the selection desired selection so that's all for this page and next page is scom health check it provides us the overall health check of your scom environment you can get the number of servers and agents in your infrastructure. And you can also see the number of unhealthy and healthy servers and agents and can also get the list of unhealthy entities and with more details. And you can go to the focus mode by clicking over this and get more details. And along with this, you can see the total space in your DB and DW databases, which is further split into used space and free space and the tables at the bottom provide us the file names and how much space is occupied by each file name. That's all. Thank you.